Hello, everybody. I just want to read Proverbs 8 to you, and I pray that it will bless you as I read it. Maybe, maybe one little verse will bless you. And uh, it's God's word. It's his precious word. And I thank God for the Bible. Um, I'll just read it out now. Does not wisdom cry out and understanding lift up her voice? She takes her stand on the top of the high hill beside the way where the paths meet. She cries out by the gates at the entr entr entry of the city, at the entrance of the doors. To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O you simple ones, understand prudence, and you fools, be of an understanding heart. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things, and from the opening of my lips will come right things. For my mouth will speak truth, Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse is in them. They are all plain to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that one may desire cannot be compared with her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverse mouth I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding, I have strength. By me kings reign and rulers decree justice. By me princes rule and nobles, all the judges of the earth. I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently will find me. Riches and honour are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I, I traverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I have been established from everlasting, from the beginning before there was ever an earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abundant with water, before the fountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth of the fields or the primal dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the found fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters would not transgress his command, when he marked out the found, found foundations of the earth, then I was beside him, a master craftsman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in his inhabited world, and my delight was with the sons of men, now, therefore, listen to me, my children, for blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise. Do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favour from the Lord. But he who sins against me wrongs his own soul. And all those who hate me love death. I thank God for his word. Um, it's, you know, Jesus is speaking there and he loves people so much. It's his word. And before the foundations, before Jesus came to this earth, he was in heaven and he left the splendor of heaven. It talks about it there. And he, he came for you and for me. He died on a cross. He gave his life. He shed his blood among Calvary. He lived a sinless life. He's the only one who never sinned. He was fully man and fully God. And he came into this world for you and for me. And like in John uh, 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that anyone who believes in him shall never perish but have everlasting life. That's good news. Today is the day of salvation. If anybody calls upon the name of the Lord today, like the thief on the cross did, and just say, Jesus, be merciful to me, a sinner. He'll come into your life and give you a fresh start. And uh, Jesus took on took, took our sin on his body among Calvary. He took shame. He took guilt so that we wouldn't have to carry it. And he, he paid the price. He paid the price for sin and sickness. And I believe the Lord today is alive. The stone's been rolled away. 
he was once in he was in the grave for three days and he he, he rose again he's, he's the risen savior he appeared to over 500 people including peter including peter who failed him peter who denied him three times he came again to peter and he loved peter and he he he, he just came to peter and had a conversation with him again and he he, he just you know he loved peter and he, he called him back again and he restored him and he's the god who restores he's the god who gives new starts and fresh starts and uh he, he's alive my my king is alive jesus is the king of kings he's the lord of lords he's the lovely beautiful savior and jesus said i have come that you might have life and life more abundantly it's in john in john 10 10 the devil is out to steal kill and destroy but Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and life more abundantly. So I thank you for listening today to God's precious word. And I pray that, you know, you'll be blessed wherever you are. And I just want to pray for anyone listening now. Heavenly Father, I pray anyone who hears this or listens to this, it could be a month away, it could be a year away. But I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would bless them, that you would touch them, that you would draw them unto you, O God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you for coming into my life when you did in 1994 for your mercy to me. And by grace, a person is saved. And I pray anyone listening that they'd find you, that you would bless them, that you would touch them, that you would heal them. Uh, if anyone needs emotional healing, I pray heal them and their emotions in their heart. And I thank you for the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over them, over their minds, over their hearts. And I thank you for an opportunity to pray, oh God. I thank you that you're a, a prayer answering God. You hear and answer prayer. You are faithful. You are kind. You are just. And, and we're, we, we, I just praise you. And I, I just pray, thank you, Lord. You work with imperfect people. You love people. You love anyone you, unconditionally. In Jesus' name, amen.